Hi everybody, my name's Sophie Oliver and I'm a lecturer in the English department at the University of Liverpool. So for writing for wellbeing, I've chosen a poem by a poet called Mina Loy. The poem's called Brancusi's Golden Bird uh, and it was probably written in about 1919. And Loy wrote this poem in response to a sculpture by the um, Romanian sculptor Constantin Brancusi and the sculpture's called Golden Bird. We don't know if Loy saw the uh, saw the sculpture in real life. Um, she may have been responding to photographs of it in a magazine called The Little Review. And I've chosen this poem because during lockdown, I really miss going to art galleries. But I found that looking at the collections of different museums online is a really good way of recreating the experience. Um, and like Loy looking at photographs of works of art, I don't think we need to always look at them in the flesh. Poems like... Brancusi's Golden Bird, written in response to works of art, are called ekphrastic poems. Ekphrasis is a Greek word, it means description, and there is a long tradition of ekphrastic poetry. Um, these kinds of uh, these po kinds of poems that attempt to describe and to capture in words something that is visual. The most famous is probably Keats's Ode on a Grecian Urn, in which he um, he writes about a vase. It's a vase that he might have seen in the British Museum in London. And in that poem, he, he describes the vase, but he also reflects on the relationship between visual art and verbal art. And we see that a lot in ekphrastic poetry. So in Loy's poem, she tries to capture the essence of Brancusi's sculpture, the way that its bronze surface reflects the light. There is also something very sensual about the poem, I think. It's as if she's trying to evoke her own response to seeing it in terms of vision, sound, and even taste with the word licked. So my creative writing exercise is to write your own ekphrastic piece. Uh, it doesn't have to be poetry, um, but it should be in response to a painting or a sculpture or anything visual. And like Loy, you don't have to have seen it in the flesh. You can be responding to an image. So think about trying to capture something that is visual in words and maybe, like Loy, try to evoke something of your viewing experience. <laughs>